Hey everybody, there are some uh, Japanese koi nobori carp streamers right up there. Um, and I'm going to show you, make a little, I'll get closer to it, make a video on that in just a second. But I want to show you where I am. I'm in basically Temple Center. This is a, uh, you know, great mass graveyard here. This is a part of Shizuoka where uh, the Shogun long ago, this is the mountain that my city gets its name from, uh, where I see where I live, Shizuoka, this peaceful mountain. This is it. And a long time ago, the Shogun leader, military ruler of Japan, uh, ruled, decreed that all the temples in certain temples should be brought in put on the street over here. So this is the temple area. But I wanted to show you this right here. I, I don't know what it's all about. Here's a temple right here. And it's interesting because it's got these ofura here, which are typically associated with uh, uh, shrines. But these are definitely Buddhist ofura. That's a pretty rare thing to see. I'm going to have to make a video about that as well. And look on the inside. See all the little jizos in there? Can you see that? Little statues? Yeah. There's more over here. There's the uh, luck charm things. Look at that. Okay, here's where they ring the bell. That is typically, well, that's a sort of Shinto too. Is this a Shinto? No, it's a Buddhist place. It's like the Jizos. Anyway, these are Jizos. I should talk more respectfully. These are Jizos for uh, deceased children. I should really be talking more respectfully. And I think they're pretty old. Each one of these, it's kind of like a, a, a votive offering for the spirits of past of deceased children. I'm debating in my mind whether I should talk about the controversial nature of this. I guess I should. But there is some controversy with this. They, there, are, there is criti criticism in Japan that uh, temples sometimes uh, exploit the pain of women who have lost their child or aborted it and uh, that there's a bit of a money racketeering thing with this. I, I shouldn't. I'll leave it at that. It's something that I've read about and I've heard about but for the most part I, I have I I think that uh, for those that are so inclined to believe this could certainly be a comforting thing for them. Gosh I want to say more more not just about the controversial element, but about the reassuring element as well. <sighs> but it's too personal, so I'll have to leave it at that. I mean, yeah. My wife and I lost a, uh, a child through uh, you know, miscarriage. And I know that my wife and I have visited uh, the... Mizuko Jizo, that's what this is called, Mizuko Jizo, the water Jizo. And we visited, even though I'm not a believer, my wife's not a believer. We visited Mizuko Jizo to remember the lost child. And it, it is indeed a comfort to each of us. So I guess I've kind of balanced the controversial element with the, re the element of that there is comfort in that as well. And these cranes here, you may be familiar with these, these thousand these cranes that people put these together to uh, a thousand of them when someone's sick. So these were probably put together by loved ones for a child that was sick and all of these back here as well. I'm kind of, if, if it's because I'm kind of rambling and here and there with this, it's kind of, it's kind of emotional to me. Oh. This might be the, uh, the hardest video I've ever made. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never talked about that before because it, it's personal personal and especially personal to my wife. I don't mind talking about that kind of stuff, but I, you know, so, um, let's leave it at that. Okay, there you go, guys. Musical Jizo. And now I'm going to go make a video about that Koi no Buri. It's almost time for uh, Boys Day here in Japan. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.